everybody, this is Christine with Coco Daisy, and today I'm going to share with you a couple layouts that I created using the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. And the Modern Memory Keeping Kit is it's super versatile. It's for any kind of creative journaling or scrapbooking, uh, paper crafting, card making, um, anything like that that you can... Um, anything really. It's it's just pocket scrapbooking. So I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff that I missed, but mini albums, all kinds of stuff. I use, um, I use this a lot when I do my, actually, I'm going to grab it and I'm going to show you. When I create out my daisy planner. So I'm using pages from our daisy planner that I dress up and I do a photo a day. And so I use a lot of the elements from the modern memory keeping um, for this. And I absolutely love this system. This is my favorite system for scrapbooking. Um, I just enjoy having a picture a day and the format and the easeability. And I love how much um, I get recorded and I can look back on. So I really, really like this system for my own um, kind of consistent personal use. But I do still enjoy making the 12 by 12 layouts. I've got something new that I'm going to show you that I've been playing with. Um, in fact, I've shown you before. Let me grab that as well. Sorry, I keep walking away. <laughs> I just kind of thought I wanted to show you a few other things. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. So, but we'll start with this 12 by 12 layout. This kit is so fun. And I don't want those of you who look at it and go, well, I don't have anything Western. What am I going to, what am I going to use that kit for? Don't let that intimidate you. Um, you can see if you look at, um, this tutorial, and then if you look at the Traveler's Notebook tutorial, you'll see the layouts that I did. There's, um, I mean, there's there's a lot of flexibility within this theme, more than you realize. And so I wanted to show you that because there are some great neutral colors. The nice thing is, is there's some elements in here that maybe lean a little more masculine. So it's nice if we are the moms of boys or grandsons or we want to do some layouts about our husband and that to have some of those elements that lean that way a little bit as well. Or if we're not like super girly girly and we don't love pink and everything. I mean, this is, this is a great option for that as well. You could use this um, if you have any sort of traveling you've done out West would be beautiful. Um, uh, for this particular one, it was perfect for our dinner out to um, a Mexican restaurant. And we had wonderful food and a great time with my son and his girlfriend, Olivia. And it was just, it was a new place we tried. I love to document um, meals and all that. You guys see a lot of, in fact, my other layout is a picture of food. So you see me do that a lot. Um, so anyway, so what I did, of course, I started with a little bit of the splatter on here and I knew I wanted to use a lot of these beautiful patterns. I love the color palette in this kit. And so I took a couple of the cards. These are actually all of, this is a four by six card. These are three by four cards. I used a distressing tool. Um, you can even just kind of use your, use your nail or something rough to just kind of rough up the edges. I have an old, old scrapbooking distressing edge distressor. And so that will kind of, you can use a, a knife. If you have a craft knife, you can do that a little bit as well. So I just distressed the edges on those. I raised those layers up. I took one of the tags, they come like this. And I did the same idea with that. I, I cut it into a tag shape and then I just really distressed this up. I peeled some of, because they are fabric, I peeled some of the, the, um, the strands off the edge to give it that distressed look. So you can do that. You can leave them super clean if you want to, or you can um, distress them up a little bit. Added a string there out of the grommet. I added a little bit, um, I added a little bit more texture just with a little staple at the top of that one. Use some foam tape in there 
And again, just kind of curling the edges up of some things gives it that distressed look as well. I did a little bit of stamping, so you can see from the stamp set, the sunshine on here, this one, and then the food stamp, I stamped that on there. There's a couple of um, rub-ons. There's a little bit of a watercolor rub-on, and then this one as well. That's one of the things I also love about the rub-ons. You can rub them on layers. They'll rub onto just about everything. I did a little stamp there. Added a little bit of pattern paper. I felt it was it just needed to expand a little bit more and kind of keep that flow going. So I added a, a couple pieces of pattern paper. Um, again, with the great patterns and colors that went so nice with the photograph. And then just a couple of the little metallic dots on there. Um, my, I, had, I do my journaling, I do that on clear sticker paper. It's matte and put that on there. It just makes it easier. And um, yeah, and then some of the puffy alphas. Love the, the matte puffy alphas. I used one of the brads that came in the kit on that photograph, just to add again, a little bit more texture. And, and there's a little bit of a rub on there as well. So I had a lot of fun with this, a lot of fun with the layers and using that whole distress vibe with it as well. So that's my 12 by 12 layout. Now I wanted to do, so you've seen me, I've been adding layouts in this for a while. And I was just using um, some of the pages from the minimalist inserts and just adding um, layouts to these because I had this album and I thought it would be fun. And so I had just started to do that. So I wanted to continue on with that, but I had another idea for this year. So, and because I'm not a fan of discs, I mean, they're fine. Um, I just, I prefer a ring bound for most things. So what I did is I took, I have this kind of cool album. Isn't that neat? It's, it's a binder. I have this, I got this off of Amazon. Um, I've had it for a long time and it's like super heavy duty plastic, but it was kind of chunky, kind of neat. I thought it was cool. So I'm going to use this for the year. And I'm going to make some more of that kind of like six by eight, a little bit less, A5 size layouts. And I started with, so you can use any kind of, you could even use an old planner. So if you've got some ring bound planners that are binders that you don't use anymore for planning, but you don't necessarily want to throw away or donate, use them to create mini albums. So that's kind of what this is going to be it's going to be like a scrapbook or a journal or, I mean, I can't guarantee every time I'm going to use a photograph, I may just do some collages. I've seen a lot of that and that looks fun. So what I did is this is a dashboard and I thought it was just pretty. So I just kind of have that as the cover for now. And then I took one of our A5 um, notebooks and I took the cover off. And actually, if you watch after, after this, after I talk about it, there's um, a video that we're attaching of me creating this layout step by step. So you get kind of a, a fun um, little look at that. So I don't know that I'll use all of these pages. Um, I may just use a couple of my scrapbook, which is fine. And then next month I'll use a couple of other pages from, from that month's theme. I don't know, it's just gonna be kind of fun to use them whenever and whatever, right? So I just took them out of the notebook. I took the cover off. I cut them apart and that's it. Super simple, super easy. Punched the holes in and then I created this layout. And I love how it has the grid behind it. It's the same idea as when I did this. I love having kind of that background, almost pattern paper there already. Um, so yeah, it's kind of neat. I think I'm going to do that every month. Just kind of be fun to see at the end of a year. I'll have a couple lay, uh, layouts from every month or one from every month in here. And I'll have a mini album. I think that'd be kind of fun. I can even, if I wanted to, just do some journaling on some of these pages. That'd be kind of neat. 
So this has just got, this is actually a rub on that I turned into a die cut. And again, watch the video and you'll see how I did that. Just did some layers. I loved these woodcut pieces. They're so pretty. I had to use one of those. Layered a card behind there. That is from the stamp set. That's from the stamp set as well. And then just some more stamping. And, and then this, this little envelope comes in the kit as well. And I thought it would be fun. I used one of the note cards and just put my journaling on there, did a little bit of stamping on there. But then I also took, I thought it would be kind of neat, I took the recipe for this, printed it out, and then tucked that in there as well. And that's why it says recipe inside. So just kind of a neat little keepsake too. So it would be neat if like you go to, um, say like a potluck or something. I have the hardest time with my nails with these. Um, and everybody wants the recipe or you go somewhere special, like an Easter dinner or something, and you create that. And I don't know, it's kind of neat. So those are the two layouts. And again, keep watching and you'll see the process video for this. It'll give you a step-by-step, -step, which I thought was kind of fun. I may do that a little bit more. But those are the two layouts that I created using the Modern Memory Keeping Kit.